up guys, it's Cubewack here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sun, the Let's Play. Last time we met up with some team, I don't even know what we did, it'll be in the, I don't know, go watch the video. Uh, <laughs> but this time we have to keep on, uh, keep on chugging forward here, and we actually are pretty close. I was gonna go back and heal, because obviously El Diablo is still dead, and I don't want El Diablo to be dead, I want him to be alive so he can level up and evolve already, dang it. But, he's still dead, but I'm assuming if there is any big battle at where we're going, they're going to heal us first. Like, they're not going to send you into a big battle unprepared with a whole route, uh, like, in front of you. Like, I don't think they do that. This game, they've been way too easy. <laughs> they've been way too easy with Sun and Moon for them to just out of nowhere be like, Hey, we'll make this part easy. Or, we'll make this part hard. We will make this one specific part of the game more difficult than anything. What is this? Be Earthquake. Or Surf. Leech life, you are literally, what was the point of putting that there? <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Okay, there is people. There is people. I don't want to look at these people. These are scary people. We got Wingle. Wingle. Yeah. That's what you are, you are a Wingle. Water repulse in my crab, 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 what? It's like crab puncher? I don't know. I don't even remember his name. I think it was like crab, crab, crab puncher or something like that. I want to, I want to find out now. See, I'm all like forgetting everybody's names. It was like crab puncher or something just weird. Crab brawler, crab brawler. All right. And then Tony is Toracat. Muck, that, or Grimer, that's just Alola Muck Grimer. That is a, uh, Mud, Mud Blat, or Mud Blay. Mud Blay, right? I want to make sure I know their names. I can't be that guy. Mud Bray, I was close. <laughs> and then that is a Charger Bug, which evolved from a Grubbin. Evolved from a Grubbin. Alright. Um, here we are. Here we are at whatever may happen. Where's the old man? Oh, look who it is. So you're the one Gladion was talking about. Huh, you don't look like anything special to me. I'm Plumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like the big sister to all these numbskulls. You realize what idiots all these guys are, right? <laughs> you don't think some dummies are cute in their dumbness. You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Okay, I lied. They're not gonna heal me. They're gonna throw me into a battle with Plumeria and not heal me. Alright. Well, Plumeria is here. Plumeria is here. Alright. Wow, that is a really bad matchup that we're leading with right here. Um, oh my god, we are under- we're getting underleveled, I should say. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Uh, Scoots is such a risky option here. I know Scoots could, could body this thing, no doubt, but this thing could body Scoots just as easy. Maybe. Scoots is pretty good. Nah, Air Cutter would have bodied Scoots. No doubt Scoots would be demolished. Uh, we're gonna do our best though right now to Inferno Overdrive. One thing I do wish- Oh! I thought I was going down. I thought that was going to crit to my death. One thing I do wish that um, they did was made an option to make this shorter. Like like a shorter version. Like still an animation of sorts, but a much shorter animation for Z-Moves. Luckily, you can only use it once per battle, so it's not that big of a deal. But when you're like grinding and stuff and you want to use it to get Pokemon dead faster, it kind of sucks. Of course he lives. Of course he lives. Alright. I don't think this will kill if it's not a crit. 2 HP. I knew it! Don't ask how. I just knew I was barely living. Hanging on by a thread. What else you got? What else you got for me? Because Tony is level 26. Good stuff, Tony. You never even get used. You don't have to use Tony for Tony to be good. You also learn Dizzy Punch. I kind of want to teach you Dizzy Punch. Except it's normal, so that kind of sucks. 
Target is here from rhythmically launch punches. May as well leave the target. I don't like how it's normal, so we're not gonna learn that. Because there's no stab, there's no super effectiveness with it. Um, you're sending in some land it. I'm ready. Really wish that um, El Diablo was um, awake right now, wasn't fainted. But we have uh, we have uh, this guy here. We have Donkey to always to always high horsepower. We could use that for the first time to see the animation. After we get poisoned, that is. Uh, <laughs> all right. That was pretty cool. I like the um. I like the horseshoe that showed up in that. It was cool. I like the horseshoe. Definitely a fan of the horseshoe. Who wants to buy me a horseshoe? Just kidding. Um, huh, you're pretty strong. I'll give you that. But mess with anyone in Team Skull again, and I'll show you how serious I can get. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to ruin your whole team. I'm actually going to... I hope our team, like, uh... I hope our team, or your team, like, works with me to defeat the Aether Foundation when we find out that they're bad guys. What is this? Okay, I was saying, Lily better be here. I was thinking that. Kibwak. Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. So she she couldn't even find her way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them, but that's why she got lost. Now, I've got to go. The Mass Royal has a match, but there's no way I'm missing that. So you literally found me all the way here. Just to drop off Lily. Mass Royal, what do you think he looks like under that mask anyways? Uh, like your husband? You stupid. You stupid. I came here for Nebby. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look, at poor Crabrawler. Let me heal it for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lily. Akala Island, this is Temple Lily's ruin. Pew? So we're gonna see the next one now. You know, you tried to drag me along the ruins of conflict on M Malele Island, too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? What does Cosmog mean is, like, the real question. Just think about what I, uh, what would have happened to you if Kubowak hadn't been there back then. Oh, hello, Olivia. Oh, I haven't seen you with Kukui. I haven't seen you with Kukui. Um, who's she talking to, Lily? Oh yes, my name is Lily. I work at Professor Kukui's uh, as Ku Professor G as the assistant, and this is Kibwak. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Kibwak, thanks for getting to know the people of Pokemon of Alola. What is going on? All right then, you've completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, Kakuna, Kahuna, me. Get ready for the hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. I'd love to. I'd love to. I love the way they let me say that. Great, we're gonna give you guys everything we've got. My parents are all, my par par parents. I can't read, dude. I'm dyslexic. I really think I'm getting dyslexic. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Dude, I really think I'm dyslexic because I've been having real trouble reading. I never have before. What was that nonsense? You were challenged by Island Kahuna Olivia. This music is so... It's only a nose pass? Not even Barb? We got a little baby Barb. Alright, what we're gonna do here... Is we're gonna immediately start with z -Lear. And if he bodies us before we can Z-Lear, we're, we're done. We're screwed. If he bodies us right now, oh well. There's nothing we could have done about it. But, I'm trying to get, like, dumb levels. Right now. Alright, so that's gonna lower defense and up my attack, which it already did. Rock slide? Oh, I'm dead. Didn't do as much as I thought it would. Does ground resist rock? It does. I never knew that. I did know that, but I, I always forget that, I think. Alright, Bonum Ring, don't fail me now. Nope, you failed me exactly when I told you not to. Like, the one time I said, don't fit Well, I say that a lot. I do say that a lot. Alright, never mind. Never mind, I take that part back. Alright, here we go. You're dead. No doubt you're going down. What? Is Nose Pass that freaking bulky? Oh, I, I should have known. I had Barb, the freaking wall. I still can't believe Barb died in that series. Barb was a wall. The wall. The only wall. 
Like, bar was Donald Trump's bet. Just kidding, we're not going there. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's get it, El Diablo. What's next? Bulldor? We're going to stay in. Because we have an attack boost right now, and I don't know if that thing has a huge... I don't know if that thing's a wall. And I'm sure I'm going to outspeed. Yeah. We're going to die. I'm just going for it. <laughs> I'm just going for it. Because I'm confident. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, my boy. My boy. <laughs> I'm reviving El Diablo. I am reviving El Diablo. Because El Diablo needs this experience. Alright. Donkey. We're switching you in. Alright. Um, we're going to bag. Where's revives? We don't have a max revive, do we? I don't think so. Um, uh, do we have revives at all? I know. There they are. Alright. I'm going to use that on Diablo. And then we're going to also, I believe... I don't know. I want to see something. We're going to do a little bit of a social experiment here. Oh, Donkey's stamina is about to bring his his defense sky high, too. So maybe I should just stay in. We're going to high horsepower you. See if that uh finishes you off. Oh, it really didn't. You. This is a team of walls. A team of walls. I hope your next one is just like a glass cannon. I really hope your next mod is just a glass cannon. All right. I want to see it. Oh, my God. But what I'm testing here... Is I want to see if um if Cubone if El Diablo will still get the experience, even though even though technically he didn't partake like he he fainted like I wonder if since I revived him he'll still get a chunk of experience from this. I'm not I'm not killing Donkey either. Donkey is going out swinging because he is his stamina his stamina is insane. All right um I'm a high horsepower again to be safe. I don't want to play these games of, oh, Mud Slap, and he lives on one. I feel like that's something that would happen, without a doubt. All right. Okay, that was a lot of experience. I feel like El Diablo got none. El Diablo got, no, he got experience. Played a good level 25. Scoot screwed level 26. Anybody else? Lycanroc. What is Lycanroc? I feel like this is something crazy. I feel like this is something crazy. I feel- I know what this is, though. Oh! It's Rockruff's Moon Evolution. Alright. Sweet. So that thing doesn't look like a wall at all, but it's gonna outspeed. Let's see how much it does. He has used Bite? Oh, it's not gonna kill. Oh, it's gonna kill. <gasps> El Diablo coming through! El Diablo is the god. Nobody can make him fall. Alright, what are we giving you to heal right now? What are we about to give you? I'd give you a, um... I would give you a, uh, fresh water, but you know, it's not enough anymore. Lycanroc, but yeah, that's how I knew it. Lycanroc is a cool mon. I like the, the one from this game more, though. I don't know if it's just a different look... Or what, um, that they have. Um, uh, but I do like, I do like the one from Sun better than the one from Moon. And I'm assuming she has the opposite in both games. How much, why is that doing so much? Um, hold on, let's see. Who can eat a bite right now? Who can eat a bite right now? Oh, Mayweather, no doubt. Mayweather, no doubt, is coming through right now. Alright. Hit me up a bite. Ain't gonna do nothing. Ain't gonna do nothing. That still did a lot. You're level 27, that's why. Alright, Brick Break, come through. Or he could do that and do a crap ton of damage. Is that gonna kill? Look at that. Look at that. Mayweather hitting him with the 1-2. With the one, two, and going to level 26. That is what I like to see. Oh, the Diablo going to level 24. Four levels away. Ugh, I'm so excited. All right. 
How lovely. I feel like somebody's evolving. I just, I feel like it. Nope. I can hear the music. I know it's not true. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. Uh, you guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal. The rock, rockium Z is all yours. So Z crystals, like, they're like badges with a benefit. A better benefit, I should say. I like it. Grand trial complete. We are done on this island. We have to go to that one place, though, and she's going to show me a place that is amazing. From the Aether Foundation. You obtained a Rocky MZ. Do you open the... Okay. Under Rock Type Z power, you have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully, because the hip movement is crucial. Oh, we need hips. We need to move our hips. You barely moved your hips. Use it well, the rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. What is Cosmog doing? Is Olivia gonna say something? You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebi. It's not originally from here, but I want to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find some clues to help it. You certainly don't see a Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs, unless they are strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Pew? Well, he is. Loki, if you've seen what this... Little Cosmog is done. Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. If you're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer, I like that kind of person, so I'll help you by, uh, by giving you a hand. <laughs> oh, you're Kahuna Lo Olivia. I'm Howe from Icky Town. You've got to let me battle you. Oh, hey, Kibwank, guess what? The weird green guy from Aether told me to come to the Hano Grand Resort once I finished up my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants with you, Kibwank, but why not go find out? If you do want to keep him, wa don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near that dimensional research lab. The Aether Foundation? Um, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how Hao's battle goes, too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt, but I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. I might not be as strong as my Gramps, Hala, but I can still raise up Dartrix and the rest of my team to do their best. You're just how, how, right? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's, Hala's ground son? Now show me what Hala can do. How is such a good rival? All right, let's go. We're teleporting. We are teleporting or flying there right now. So we gotta go here. No. Hold on. It said. I think we gotta go here and then just head straight right. Oh, we have to go the way we couldn't go before because she was like, I'm looking for stuff on my Stoutland. Or whatever it's called. Alright. Is that what it's called, Stoutland? Yeah. Also, we're gonna get there fast. Let's go. Here we go. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a floating hotel out here, or what? They're pounds of favor off. Are you like, no. Alright. Alright, let's get in here. Let us get in here and see what's up. This is a crazy hotel, man. So you've come at last. Oh, it is a dude, no doubt. I couldn't see close up to right now. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you some place I'm standing, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. If it's an artificial, it is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. Of course I'm not. I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I'll prove to you all I've told you is the absolute truth of a tour, tour of the Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Of course. Good, good. Then you will come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Oh, wow. He, that was fast. Wait, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. 
As a kahuna, I look after the, all the trial girls who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never seen. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. The greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. You coming too, Professor? I got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it la later, yeah? That's right, I'll see you on the next island. U Ula Ula Island, yeah. That, blah, 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 blah. then let's meet up at Mali Garden. Yep, it's a goodbye. Uh, it's, it's goodbye, Kala Island. I thought I guess we can come back anytime we want, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas, by which I mean to say the ferry. So we're going to see a crazy island made by man. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that? Really? Knew I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't wait to actually see Aether Paradise for myself. I hope that was a joke. Alright, I need to get a new backpack for my character. Alright, so now we're going over here. Aether Paradise. I wonder if we're going to be able to fly here. Alright, here we are. Aether Paradise. And they got a Hypno, a Meowth, a Meltank, a Child. Um... Interesting. Interesting. Pseudo Wudos. I think I should uh, save right here. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. What is happening here? Is this Pokemon Fusion? Is that just an elevator? It looked like a weird chamber at first. Another paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Aether Paradise, uh, for conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team works on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast to the facility to prevent them from functioning. So, like, even the Pokeballs I have? Is this Sinnoh? Cena, whatever. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Okay, it isn't. Uh, yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, branch manager Faba. Now I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the president as well. I don't like him. I do not like sunglasses, man. Phew. Who are you? Explain. Welcome to the Aether Paradise, Kiwak and Howl. My name is Wiki. Nice to meet you. Wait, you wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? She just nods. One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island, and of course I heard how you help protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howl. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. All right. Can I save? Or do we have just a lot of cutscene? Shall we zip right up there? I don't trust Aether Foundation still. I feel like we're going to find something shady on accident. I'm like, now that you've seen it, you must die. Oh, it's Harambe. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I love that gorilla. This is the main entrance. You can have your own Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Pikachu, Rockruff. I still need a Rockruff. I still have not found one. Kibowak, you and Howe are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Uh, yeah, I am. How? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because somebody, someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps. But he's way too strong. Why are we only 11? Don't know. I wish they... Well, I guess it's because it's a kid's game, so it makes sense. But it doesn't, because we're out here journeying the entire region on our own at the age of 11. It's it's not right. How how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn and take a journey of their own, choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly as children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Kibwak, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. 
conservation area or concert see we're gonna see a conservation camp right now but for pokemon not people what is this amazing this is beautiful for this reason the use of pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area wow we keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. We also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. I, I don't mind. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. This game is so dark. Yeah, my gramps was always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Acer Foundation really protect all the Pokemon there that are out there? I'm getting dyslexic looking at this. Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Acer Foundation seems awesome. Why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like a Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. Alright. So, we're gonna end this episode here because we had that long dialogue that I didn't expect. But this place is looking beautiful. I still don't trust it, though. I still don't trust it. I feel like the Aether Foundation is going to be doing some shady, shady things that we're gonna find out about later on. And we're gonna be like... What the hell is going on? But for now, guys, that is not the case because we are going to end this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a like to show your support. It is very much appreciated. And as always, my name is Cubewack. I am signing out, and I will catch all of you guys next time. Peace!